Hello, welcome to this video in which I explore the question of whether you can use Yamaha styles with the Medelli AKX10. Short answer no, but long answer comes now. Namely, we have to convert Yamaha styles with the software Medelli Grand Suite V2. We can play styles directly from a USB stick. I have a USB stick in here and already have a few styles that you can simply start from the USB stick. And they have the file extension STY. And then you can just press start here. And then the style will be played accordingly. So now let's see how it is with original Yamaha styles. There we are, exactly nothing. But trust me, there are styles inside in the folders, but we don't see anything because the Yamaha style file extension is not supported. By the way, Cork also uses the file extension SDY. We are looking at a style here, but what happens if we tap on it now? So then I get an error message. The style cannot be read because the Cork style is formatted completely differently. Okay, as I said, you can convert Yamaha styles with the Medelli Grand Suite V2 program. And now let's go to the computer. Let's launch the Medelli Grand Suite software. The download link is in the video description below. So we start the software and this time use the style area. I've already shown the software with the sound section and above all, how to build your expansion pack here with release. Of course, it makes sense that if you convert a lot of styles, you bring them later to your keyboard via an, an expansion pack. So we now focus on the style module. You don't need to connect your keyboard because unfortunately, you can't pre-listen with the software. It would of course be extremely useful if I could start a style right here and then hear it on the keyboard and then make my adjustments here. Unfortunately, that does not work. But you can edit the styles later on your Medelli or Toman keyboard. So you can also adjust the instruments and volumes there and save the style accordingly. Okay, you see, a style is usually built with an intro, main, fill section, break and several endings. And manufacturer styles are of course expected to be completely. Let's open a Yamaha style. A nice chap kindly provided me with styles from the S975 and the S775 of the PSR series. The following file types are supported, which you can see below. MIDI files, STY files, these are the ones that Medelli system itself uses and that were probably used by Yamaha many years ago. By now only these PRS and SST files are common. The others mean nothing to me, but I assume that PST files are also from the old PST series. By the way, Cork style formats that also end in STY are not supported. So it really only works with Medelli and Yamaha styles. All right, let's open a style here, in this case 80s pop. As you can see, all the fields here are immediately marked in red, which means that there is information everywhere. By clicking on it, I can adjust the tempo if I want to. After we've loaded it and see that everything is filled out, we can switch to the next page with the next button. And now get an overview. There's a pull down menu up here in the middle, so we can jump directly into the different style sections. For example, in the main A section or in the fill or in the ending section. I will stay here now at main B. And then we have two tabs here, chord and sound. The name says it all in the sound area. We adjust the corresponding sound or voice for each channel. 
This means that you can also choose a different sound from the ones available from the Medalli keyboard. Let's say I don't want the fingered bass here, but I'd rather have an acoustic bass there or a fretless bass. I can do that. I can choose from the preset bass here if I can find it. Or again choose from general MIDI or if installed from an expansion pack. If I messed something up and want to undo it, I can press the reset button up here. But then everything will be reset. Then there is the option of using this button to apply a setting directly to all style elements that I click or select here. I would like to change drum set directly for all style elements and not just for one each time. You can also adjust the volume of the respective channel at this point. I will go back with you here on the chords tab. And here we have some columns. There you have the original channel and you can see that channels 2, 4 and 5 have obviously been occupied. With an accompaniment style at least with the Medelli and also with my Korg PA, only channels 9 to 16 are used. Since I'm not familiar with Yamaha devices, I can't say why channels 2, 4 and 5 are still used here. It is important to know that these cannot be changed afterwards in the keyboard. You will then get a message that these channels cannot be assigned. Channels 9 to 16 on the other hand are just the usual accompaniment channels for percussion, drums and bass. Then they usually say 12 to 14 are for the chord accompaniments and 15 and 16 are usually used for the phrases. Whereby you are of course free to decide what you really put in there afterwards. You can then select that here accordingly. Now let's fast forward through the columns. A precise explanation would take far too long here and would blow up the video. But you will find an explanation of each column and the function in the manual, which you can call up here on the bottom left. Namely on page 9. There in the manual there are the parameters and description and what it does and means. So there you will find the information about any column and the function. So, of course, we have the chords here, in example, the root note. And you could change them. Yamaha programs all of its styles in C major 7. Then here is the rule for transposing, whether they should be fixed or transposed. Again, please consult the manual. The same applies here for the transposition rules of individual notes and not for the root chord. Here are two sections, root mute and type mute. They include the ability to mute that track or channel for certain chords. So if I were to say that whenever a G chord is played, I don't want this bass track to be played, I would tick that with G accordingly. The same applies to the chord type. No root notes, but if you say, for example, I don't want the drums to play when I play a sus chord, then I check these two sus chord uh, buttons at this point. And then no more drums are played on sus chords. Then there is a root limit. Basically, this tells you from which chord type you break down again. From when the chords no longer rise in the sequence of notes, but are broken down again, play lower notes again. Then you have the note range here. In example, the sequence of notes from where to where the notes are allowed at all. And back here the retrigger rule. So if I replay a chord, what happens? Is the pitch then adjusted, the tone raised, or is the chord played again, for example? It's all in the manual. You just have to try what suits you best. Yamaha will have thought about it and that is also taken over here one to one by Yamaha into this program. 
you can save this edit here with a disk. And with that, a SCP file is created and the processing is saved with it. A processing could then also be loaded here via the load pattern button. Of course, this is also useful if you are in the process of editing and then simply have to interrupt later. Then save your edit. Here too, of course, the option in the chords area to say again, I would like to adopt a setting that I made for all these style components. And here too, there is the reset button. After checking all that, let's go one page further. Go to page 3 of 3 and this is about the quick settings. About the instruments that are played with the hands etc. So the instruments for right 1, 2, 3 and left. And they can be called up later via the quick settings. It's a bit silly to use at this point, so you can't click here. But the green frame field moves only when I click here and mark an instrument. You have to be a bit careful when using it. Here you can also select the instruments accordingly. If you say you would rather have the tenor sax, you can enter the tenor sax here. Specify the volume for it here and preset the panning and also the octave. You can also switch harmony on and off by default here and then have these four quick settings for each style and quickly call them up and load them again. Korg users know this as keyboard sets, where the instruments for the right hand accompaniments are loaded accordingly. Again, I can click on reset here and save the quick settings, which then gives a QS file. And later I can load them if I have settings that I use again and again. I can save them here and call them up and load them again and again. Yes, and then I'm basically done and I'll click on finish here. And now save a STY file, so that's the converted file. And then I can go here, I'm going to do it like this. Um, I create a new folder here under styles in the Yamaha area and call it conf medalli. And then there is now a folder rock and pop. And then I just save it here under the same name. And that's it. So it's not deleted here, it's just saved and we could now go forward again to the first page and open a new style. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to styles now. Oh, and yes, you can also call up your styles here at any time and then edit them again. In this case, I will look in the country section and take a country ballad here. And I basically do the same thing. I'm just going to take a quick look here now. Here we can see very clearly that channels 8, 1 to 8 do not contain any information here, only channels 9 to 16. Actually, only occupied until 15. Let's click on the sounds and see that there are only corresponding uh, sets down here. Although I'm a bit surprised that the techno set is selected for the country song. But well, we will hear it on the keyboard right away and it's definitely the case that we will have to rework it a lot. I'll click next here. Here are the quick settings with the instruments again, but that looks pretty much the same to me. It is of course also possible if no information has been stored in the styles that just standard quick settings from a deli are used here. I will click on finish and save this style in conf medley. Quickly create a new folder country and save it there. And that's it. If I want to, I pack these styles either into an expansion pack or onto a USB stick. And now I go back to my keyboard with them. 
So, back at the keyboard, let's plug in the USB stick and see. In the Yamaha folder, there is now this conf medalli. And so let's take a look at Rock Pop first. And there's our converted style. And we can just start it by pressing start stop. That sounds very familiar, like a Queen song. I will go to the next main part now. Ugh, that doesn't sound so nice anymore. There's also a very loud guitar and like I said, now we can go and edit the style here. Of course, it would be nice if we could now change that directly in the software connected to the keyboard, but that's the way it is. Maybe Midelli can still do something with the software in the future. Otherwise, you just convert the styles you need, go to the keyboard and edit them there. Then you have to go back again to build the expansion pack on the PC. It is certainly cumbersome and I can understand anyone who has 1000 styles and says I would like to have them all converted in one go. On the other hand, I think to myself, Whoever uses 1000 Yamaha styles, really uses them, should simply stay with a Yamaha keyboard. This is probably not as time consuming as if he now has to convert 1000 styles and edit them here. Anyway, here we get the notice, some channels were skipped due to unsupported channel mapping. That's what I said earlier, the channels 1 to 8 in the main parts are obviously partitionally occupied and we can't change them here. However, I notice that it definitely applies to the intro parts. I have a button up here and can choose between channels 1 to 8 and 9 to 16. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. In any case, it's clear that it obviously doesn't work for the main parts. Okay, let's just listen to the main part B again here. You can select it here above or directly via the buttons. Then the window jumps there automatically. And we have identified a very loud and penetrating guitar here. And I'm going to assume that this is the clean guitar, but we can find out by starting the style. And then go solo here. Yes, very clearly the clean guitar is clearly too loud. We can now either turn down the guitar or simply choose a different guitar, if we don't like it. I will go here and choose a different sound here. And as you can see, you have the choice between the preset sounds of the keyboard, general MIDI or the creative sounds. And I will choose the steel guitar here. And we just listen again. That sounds much, much better. Yes, much more pleasant. Another way, of course, would be to go and say, take this clean guitar and turn it down a lot. Oh, that would certainly work too, although I personally like the steel guitar better. And then we can definitely set it to this 85 again. And that's how you adopt the style. Of course, I want to save it now when I leave it. And could now save it under a new name. For example, remove T160 and also the little point and just attach AKX and now uh, know that I've customized it. Okay, and I've already saved this style here as an AKX and can later assemble my expansion pack with my modified and saved styles. As I said, the way is certainly relatively cumbersome if you have a lot of styles. 
But if you gradually take on five to 10 styles, it can certainly be done. Yes, so much for converting styles from Yamaha. But Medelli also provides us with new styles. A new style package actually came out at the end of March. You can import it as normal. Here is the new expansion pack and there are additional new styles added to the already known ones. That means you can just install the new package. Please note that with the expansion pack your own files that already exist in the expansion pack will be overwritten. If you have already built styles yourself, you must first merge the new expansion pack with your existing expansion pack. And then, once you've installed it, there are some new styles here in the user expansion area. Medelli Rock. That didn't exist before, so here are three new rock styles. So, you can see that the Medelli company is trying to give the device its own new styles. But you can also convert and use the Yamaha styles with the software. And as I said, this also works with the Toman AKX1100. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and see you next time.